Hey there, Ben Lipper here. The brand new Vex IQ game literally just came out and I was so excited that I actually started 3D printing. This piece is still on the print bed, um, but I 3D printed all the pieces that I would need to start building robots and have a field. So if you're interested in doing something like this, I just wanted to give you guys the files. That's why I wanted to make this video. So if you're interested in 3D printing your own field, or maybe you just want a few extra bonus elements, go ahead and click the link under this video. I'm going to send you my personal files, which are really designed for 3D printing. Vexes were designed for injection molding. I'll show you kind of what the difference is in just a sec here. But if you're interested in making your own field and you have 3D printing capabilities, or you just want to see how it works and you want CAD models and stuff, go to click the link under the video. I'll send you all the details. Um, I'll send you my CAD models. That way you can go ahead and use them on your own. But let me real quick just kind of show you what it looks like. So first of all, this is what this is how big the beams are. These things are massive. I mean, look at this. I'm gonna actually break it off right now. So this is how it printed. It printed with what this is called support underneath. So if I go ahead and pull this stuff off, which I was counting on it being easy, it looks like I'm in a knife. So basically, you just kind of pull off this stuff down here, and then it's supposed to reveal what's underneath. So here we go. You see it kind of just peeling off like that. And then underneath, you can kind of see this is actually what the piece looks like. And then the top, obviously, looks my. And there we go. Now we've got our piece all cleaned off. And I'm actually going to go ahead and test this piece out. Real quick, if you want to build something like this or you want to print this, let me just show you the files that I'm going to go ahead and give you. Like I said, click the link under the video. And I'm going to give you two files. I'm going to first give you this one. And then I'll also give you this one. So these are actually not directly from Vex. I took Vex's files and made a few modifications. The first modification I made on this one is actually I made it solid inside. So you can see it's not hollow. Vex's is hollow. And so this one's solid. It You'd be like, whoa, that affects the weight so much. But because of how 3D printing works and the next step I'm going to show you, it won't affect it that much. So just know that. And then the other thing to know is that this guy actually... When you take a look inside, I've adjusted these edges just a little bit. And if you look at Vex's, these edges are not slanted. So you see how like this is sloping in here? It's not sloping on Vex's. Instead, it's all like perfectly hollow. The reason it's sloping is because 3D printers really struggle to make hollow things, but they really are good at making sloping things. So you don't have to know exactly why, but just know that it's something we call DFM, Design for Manufacturability. Um, I did a bunch of that on this, so this is going to be print 10 times better than the one that you just download from Vex. What you'll do is you're going to hop into Bamboo Studio, or I use Bamboo because I have a Bamboo printer. You might have something else. I'm going to go ahead and throw my files in, and there they are. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and select them and auto-orient them, and let's uh, arrange them. Boom, that looks good. And, you know, printing just one pin is kind of boring. I think we only need one beam to start with, but maybe I want... Oh, I don't know, six pins. Um, and so let's do that. Let's go ahead and uh, throw those on the plate. There we go. Uh, that looks like it's going to be good. Now, uh, some quick settings that you should know just based on kind of how I've designed this. It does need support, so I'm going to head over to support, enable support, so whatever that looks like for you in the threshold. Um, you, I personally like normal support. I find that way better than uh, tree support specifically for this. Um, yeah, and 30 degrees is a good threshold angle. We're going to go ahead and slice that guy. This will probably take you quite a while to slice because it's a really big file. It's got a lot of layers. You can see here it's counting up the layers. We're already at like 300 and counting. Looks so like we got about 720. And I'm going to go ahead and show you kind of what those settings did. So those settings, what they did, oh, it did, it kind of put support on the face here, which you need to help support like the edges of this guy that's actually really important and then if i go ahead and dive inside you can see there it's not solid inside see how it's got this like kind of cross hatch fill pattern that's just how 3d printing usually works i ran 15 percent infill we're gonna have these holes these holes need support otherwise they're gonna collapse on themselves be pretty easy to pull out you'll notice though inside of these guys see how there's no support that's pretty cool and then um we kind of come all the way down to the bottom and that's about what it looks like now you might be looking at this beam. This, these guys, it's very obvious how to print them, the pins. But if you're looking at the beam and you're like, hey, maybe it makes more sense to print it horizontal, I agree. I actually printed mine horizontal. If you remember where I was pulling my support off from. And so what I do is I will flip this guy um, horizontal onto that build plate. And then, here, let's get rid of these. And he, 
sometimes has issues, and so you need to rotate him a little bit. Come on, where's blue? So I do something like this, and I don't know, kind of just put it right there, slice plate. And now if we look at this, you'll notice it has a lot less support, and it's really just kind of underneath. And then if I'm doing my section view, or my, yeah, section view, you can see it's just got that infill inside. So these are the settings I would print with. Personally, I would actually probably print at this orientation, not the default one. Both are totally valid. Um, and then obviously if you're printing here, you got room for some pins, right? Auto this guy's. Maybe like one there, and then maybe like one over here. I don't know. Oh, come on. Just be gentle. There we go. And I've got myself a nice print set up. I'd go ahead and slice that guy and print it. And now you're good to go. So like I said before, if you'd like to join me in printing your own Vex IQ field, go ahead, click the link under this video. I'll send you a bunch of details just kind of on how to get everything set up. Other than that, thanks so much for watching. As always, like and subscribe, and I cannot wait to see what you build this year.